Hey guys, I'm gonna show you a easy way to make a Bitmoji digital sticker that you can use in student work. So the first thing you need to do is go to drawings.google.com and that's not something that you can easily get to through that waffle that shows up usually on the top right, so I just type it in. And we need to change our page setup so that we have a square. So let me scroll down under file. I go to page setup and choose anything that's square in size, two by two, three by three, whatever you want. Um, I like to use three by three and apply that layout. Um, so again, as long as you have a square, it should be fine <clears throat> or it will be fine. So now the one thing you do need is you need to have the Bitmoji extension for Chrome. And if you haven't installed that already, all you have to do is go to the Chrome Web Store. And I get there by just opening a new tab and Googling Chrome extensions. Um, and once you're in the Chrome Web Store, type in Bitmoji and it'll take you right there. You install it. If you already have the Bitmoji app or if you have Snapchat and you have your Bitmoji made, you just log in on the extension and your Bitmoji shows up right on your computer. So it's as easy as that. And then you just open up the extension and type in whatever you want. I'm gonna type in great job. And um, I like this one, so I'm just gonna drag and drop it. Put it in my frame. And I'm just gonna size this down a little bit. So it's a little more manageable to work with. So once you get it to something that you can kind of work with and you like the size of, I just put it in the middle. And now I want my sticker to be a circle. So I'm gonna to go to insert, shape, and pick the circle. And then um, you put the, the cursor down in the bottom right and draw your circle big enough for your sticker. Now you can, I wanna make that a little more circular in shape. So um, you can also change the background color. That's right here, the color of my circle and just play around with it. Oh, that's a little bright. Let's try this one. You can also do lighter colors. Um, so whatever you like, you just play around with the background color till you find something you like. Now, obviously this is covering my image. So I'm gonna right click, that's two fingers on the trackpad at the same time, and click order, send backward, because I want the circle behind the Bitmoji. And there we go, it's pretty well centered. You can play around with it, you can move the circle if you like, or move the sticker, and um, get it how you like it. So that looks perfect to me. I kinda like that the words come off the side. And I'm gonna title it so that I can find it later, because I'm gonna use this, um, again and again, and I would take some time and organize it in Google Drive into a sticker folder. Um, that's easy enough to do. And then I'm gonna click File, and under Download, I want it to be a PNG image, because I don't want that square background. Um, I want it to be transparent. So now I am going to go to my Drive, and put it in Drive. So just add the file to your Drive, or you can just keep it on your computer, whatever's easier for you. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. I'm gonna drag it into Drive. Oh, it won't do it right now because it's still, Drive is still loading. So once Drive is loading, I am going to um, add that to my Drive. Okay, so it's uploading. So now I can go to my student assignment. And I did it twice because I was working, I was trying to work too fast. Um, and I can go to my student's assignment, either slides or docs or whatever you like, and insert your image there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a doc and just click insert and then image so if you left it on your computer you would just select upload from computer 
Um, I have mine on Drive, so I'm gonna do it from there. And there's my recent items in Drive. I just made this one, so it's right there for me. I just drag and drop it. And it shows up right here in the student work. So um, when I click on the sticker itself, there's some options here about how you want your text to look with it. I don't like it in line like this. I like the text to wrap around it. So there we go. I've got my sticker on my doc. So I can save that and return it to the student like that. Um, I can also do this in slides. So let me go ahead to slides and open an assignment there and insert the image here as well. Same thing. Insert image drive and then you just put it right on top I'm gonna close this banner on the side so you can see it and then I'm just gonna arrange it and once I'm not uh, moving the sticker anymore then it's right there on top of the student work so it's as easy as that have fun making your digital bitmoji stickers